Hello fellow SketchUpers, let's make an awesome sandbox using SketchUp for schools. Start by clicking where it says Untitled and let's type the name Sandbox. When you click OK, it asks for the folder and I'd like to choose the SketchUp Models folder and hit Select. Mike is used as a reference to show how big the world is, but let's click on Select and let's click the Delete key on the keyboard to remove him from our project. SketchUp is a click and release program, so let's click the rectangle and let's choose the circle choice. Move your mouse to the origin, you'll note it says origin, and click and release again. And then move your mouse up on the green line, so it's pointed at the green axis, and type 36 on the keyboard. You don't have to click anywhere, just type 36 and press enter. Your circle now has a 36 inch radius and you're ready for the next step. Change your view by clicking the panels, the views, and the top view selection. At this point, we're going to add legs and a head. Let's start at the green axis by clicking on the center point and moving out one end point to create a leg. Repeat that step on the red axis, again on the green axis, and then on the red axis for your fourth leg. The head goes in between the two feet between the red and green axis on this side. Simply click the middle and stretch it out to both sides. As you build, please notice the red save button. That's how SketchUp for Schools tells us we should save our work. You should click that just about any time you see the red save option. Click the eraser tool, which is the second one down, and let's erase the inside of each of the feet. So we'll have a place to put the sand. With that erased, move over to your toolbar again and find the offset tool. This epic tool will give us a place to put our sand. Move your mouse on top of the belly and then click and release so that it's adjustable. Type the number six so that it'll create a six inch offset in one amazingly simple step. Return to your eraser tool and now we need to erase the inside of those feet that we created. Just click on each line to clean that up and then also get rid of the goofy line that we had from the head and then find these little overlaps and delete those as well. I'm going to use the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then remember that save tool. Do that before moving to the next step. Click the last choice on our toolbar and switch to the orbit tool. Hold your mouse button and drag so that you can see our turtle from the side and then switch to the select tool. Click on the feet so that you can see the dots and then switch to the tool that is called the push-pull tool. This is the tool that made SketchUp famous. When you click, make sure you let go to leave it wiggly, and you can see it's instantly creating a 3D shape. Type the number 12 and press enter, and you will all of a sudden have a 12 inch or one foot tall turtle sandbox. Click on the head and lift it up as well, and then simply touch one of the endpoints in your project and it'll be the same height as the body. Let's make sure we click save so our progress is stored on our Google Drive. Let's make our sandbox even more cool by painting it with the awesome materials that are included for SketchUp for Schools. When the materials palette appears, choose colors, slide down the colors and find a green that you think would make an epic turtle color. And then simply click on all the parts to color your turtle. Use the orbit tool to orbit around and then paint all the other sections of your turtle as well. Simply click in the color and then putting the paint where you want it. You can speed it up by clicking the select tool and selecting the entire project and then painting it all at once. Always going back to the orbit tool and seeing if there are any chunks that you missed.
it's not a sandbox unless we add sand so let's click on the select tool click out in space and then just click the belly where the sand is going to be switch back to that amazing push pull tool click on that belly to make it wiggly and let's type six inches for the height of our sand return to that paint bucket and go to the materials and find the browse button when you move down, find landscaping, fencing, and vegetation. In this list, if you move down approximately seven and one over, you'll find one that makes a good sand choice. And then click on the belly to make it look like sand. Let's add an awesome beach ball to our turtle sandbox by clicking the panels and choosing components and then in the search box type SketchUp for Schools Beach Ball and then press enter. When you click the item you have to wait a moment and then you'll be able to click and set it in the sand. With your sandbox in the sand switch to the amazing scale tool and you can stretch your beach ball to whatever size you think is best for your sandbox. There you have it. You have created an awesome sandbox. At this point, use all the skills you've learned to make your turtle a little bit more cool to you. Make sure that you hit save so you don't lose your work. And thanks so much for using SketchUp for Schools.